Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another Bolton review. I'm so happy to be able to review this game today. I've been wanting to review it for a very long time due to problems with my computer. I've been unable to capture footage for it, so I've just captured some quick footage and I'm throwing together a quick review. Well, I say review, it's more my personal impressions of this part of this game. People who view my channel know what's coming and know what to expect. So, let's begin. Released on the Dreamcast. I'm doing the Dreamcast version. So, released on the Dreamcast in at least the European Union on the April the 28th, 2000. Was released early in Japan on December the 22nd, 1999. And was released later in North America on December the 6th, 2000. I'm obviously talking about the Dreamcast part of Resident Evil 2. Now, let's begin with the storyline and let's just do overall Resident Evil 2 at the minute. So what is it about? It's set two months after the mansion incident. So the Stars members have left Dracula City going off to fight Umbrella in Europe. And you have two characters to choose from. Leon S. Kennedy, a rookie cop. First day on the job, and Claire Redfield, Chris's Redfield's younger sister, who was going to who's gone to Raccoon City to look for Chris Redfield. So they're all they've all come into town, and they meet up with each other, like running to each other after a series of incidents. And yeah, this is how it begins. They get in the car, and then are forced on opposite sides. So, and now your girl is to escape. Claire just wants to find out what's happening with her brother and Leon just wants to, wants to escape the same. So this is what it's about. You've got two slightly different storylines but all coming together which makes for a pretty compelling game to play and as well with the extra modes that you get which I'm going to talk about later in this video. So, what's the gameplay like? Gameplay, traditional Resident Evil. It's your, you know, kind of tankish controls, all some puzzle solving here and there, loads of zombies, loads of weapon, well, weapons to choose from. And all in all, it's your typical survival horror experience. And it's just, and on this version, the graphics have been updated as well, so they're using more polygons to render the character model so they look a lot smoother on the Dreamcast version as well as it actually runs at 60 frames per second as well as well as using the VMU to tell you what your health is and how much ammo you've got in whatever weapon you're using which is very handy to use and I prefer using that method than having to keep checking on the screen or waiting for an on-screen prompt by a limp a little limp or clutching at his side or something like that so you're playing this game you start out scenario here you start out on one end and you play through it you start out explosions just happen in your car now you gotta find your way to the police station so you you run through you're going to a gun shop meet a guy there and this is one of the first times when you actually notice the graphical improvement unfortunately I haven't captured that part but the graphical improvement is so much better over the PlayStation version. At this point, and you notice it on the guy in the gun shop that when he's holding it, it's less like there's less clipping on the graphics on his arm and stuff. It looks more natural, more fluid, more smoother. So, what are the main right apart from that, what what is good about this game and what can you do on it? Well, the game usually can last three to four hours per scenario. I would say I've clocked it in under two or two and a half hours for the first scenario and I've never really got around to completing the second scenario so the footage that you're seeing is actually me playing the second scenario which I'm not used to playing I've never really played and the second scenario seems that it's going to take me longer to complete so I'm going to be looking to the three or four hour map so you're getting a lot of games out of this and as I said you get two characters to pick from so this is a two disc game you get to pick from Lee and Kennedy you know, is your standard cop, he's got everything, and is actually a special weapon, special item, is the lighter, which he can use. And as for Claire Redfield, her special item is the lockpick, 
So with Leon, you have to pick up small keys to open drawers, as with Claire, she can just open them. So, as for weapons, what do you get in this game to play with? What do you get to play with? What sort of toys do you get to play with? Well, you start off with your typical handgun, as you would normally. Um, items change depending on who you are playing as. So, Leon gets the handgun, the handgun upgrade, the machine gun, the shotgun, the shotgun upgrade, and the magnum, and the magnum upgrade. And then Claire has different weapons, so she starts off with the handgun, same. She also gets her bow gun, she also gets grenade launcher with different types of grenades, a spark gun, electric gun, and both of them get to actually use a flamethrower, which is only useful really at the end when you're fighting the plants. That's about it. Okay. As for enemies, I mentioned plants. They don't come in until the end. They're like a plant like monster, and they're pretty easy to kill as long as you have the flamethrower. You don't get ammo for that, unfortunately, so you kind of miss out a bit there. Uh, you get your liquors, which are, you know, your mini tyrants with the alarm going off. You get your, which are like little tyrants with long tongues, sharp claws, and they just come at you on all fours, which is, which when you first see them is total kick ass. It's pure amazing when you see them. And then if you've got the shotgun, blast them away with that either. Obviously, zombies. You can't go wrong with zombies. Zombies are on there usually. Seven, seven shots, kill them. That's your yeah, typical average really on Resident Evil games. And in this, they've obviously got you know you've got your police zombies, you've got your street zombies, you've got your normal civilian zombies, and you've got like the odd female zombie. And nearer to the end, you actually get scientist zombies and naked zombies, which is odd, and they puke up on you, which causes you to get poisoned. You also have spiders, well mainly in the sewer. Um. And then for like your main enemies, you obviously have the eyeball boss, who the sound that comes throughout the game. You have little monsters here and there. Not, I don't know the name of the first monster that you fight. Um, and then if you go on the second scenario, you get the T108, which is like a pre-nemesis. This is before nemesis, and you'll be seeing footage of him on here. And it's like the nemesis is big, bulky, but it looks proper. It, it looks like proper hard man with his skinhead. <laughs> Proper amazing. So, gameplay. How does it fare compared to the original? It's very. It is near enough the same, pretty much. Apart from the graphical updates, which makes it a lot more nicer to look at, as well as the extra modes that you get, and also you get a gallery and a movie watcher as well, so you can watch some of the cutscenes. And the cutscenes in this are done really well, and we're still using the same engine for making these videos in like the newer films like the Resident Evil Generation and the like the well the Resident Evil CGI movies. So what how good is this game? What do I think of it? My personal opinion? I love this game. I adore this game. I want everyone to play this game. I want everyone to own this version of the game. Now if you don't have a Dreamcast you are better going towards the PC part as well as maybe the Dream, uh, the GameCube part. But the Dreamcast part is, is that, well, most people do consider Dreamcast part to be the best. You can also get a kind of watered down version on the N64 as well, which that's an impressive feat in itself. Getting the two disc game into a small cartridge, it took a lot of compression and that takes some sounds out and graphical assets as well. Other console that I came out on was the Tiger Gamecom, which we'll just leave that as that. Um, because it was a terrible, terrible part. Uh, also, there are other versions of the game. Resident Evil 2 has been re released actually on the PS2 in America as a DualShock version, so you can use the DualShock controller. And also, in, Amer in Japan, you get the Resident Evil 2 Value Plus, which actually comes with the demo for Biohazard Code Veronica. So, do I recommend this game to my fellow friends and gamers? Hell to the yes. It is one of the best games ever created. It is one of the best Resident Evil games ever created. And with the new look on 
the new HD remake that I've seen footage of through uh, Retro RetroCollect.com. It looks promising, and that alarm is doing my head in. But anyway, this is a video about video games, not an alarm. So, yeah, as I was saying, the HD remake looks amazing, and Capcom needs to be watching this because it's going to show them how you do an HD remake. I mean, we all know how good at Capcom are at remaking. HD games with like you know they're doing the HD remake and the Resident Evil remake which looks beautifully crisp but Capcom needs to watch this people want this game remastered in HD hire the people who are doing this to work for you and make it and trust me it will fly off shelves it will fly off any sort of digital downloads so yeah so my personal views on this game best game ever amazing love it Pick it up, buy it, play it, you will never regret it. The only downsides are, it has become quite expensive to get on the Dreamcast and the GameCube version. I'm not sure about PC, but the PS1 version normally you can get between like 10 15 quid minimum. Well, maximum really. So yeah, I've been Bullet Marv, and as I say at the end of every single video, keep on gaming, feel free. To comment, like, share, subscribe to this channel, and also I've just started up a Twitter account which I will put in into the details below. And tell me, what are your thoughts on the Resident Evil series? Are you excited for the new Resident Evil games, like I am, or are you a bit like, have you been burnt too much by Capcom, and you're a bit wary? So tell me, what do you think? And again, I've been Bullet Marv. Keep on gaming. Buy this game, keep on gaming, done. Finished, finito, keep on gaming.